So I've been testing out the Dragonfly Wingman for about a year and a half now, and I think I'm finally ready to give you my opinion. If you're interested, keep watching. Okay, quickly, just a little bit of a backstory before we go into some detail about the Dragonfly Wingman. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know just how much I'm bothered by deer flies and horse flies. I mean, mosquitoes and black flies are a nuisance as well, but I can usually repel those with some type of spray or lotion or something that I can put on. Deer flies are not affected by that at all. So I began looking for some ways of repelling deer flies and I found something which my daughter bought for me a year ago this past Father's Day. So I've had it for quite a while, but I wanted to wait and give it some real testing before I shared my opinion on it. And I'll tell you why I waited that long in a minute. So what is the Dragonfly Wingman and how's it supposed to work? Well, let me give you some close-ups of it and then I'll talk a little bit about what the literature from the company says about it. So you can see it's meant to look like a dragonfly. It's exactly what it is on a piece of spring steel and a clip so that it will bounce around on your hat. Now, you, one thing I must mention right up front, uh, this will only work if you have a stiff brim hat. My Tilly hats it won't work. It just turns the, the brim of the hat right over. Not to say that I couldn't put it on the strap of my backpack, which I have done, but I wanted to show you this on a hat because I think this is the way most people will wear it. Um, okay, so the dragonfly is the arch enemy of the deer fly and the horse fly. So the way it works, you have to understand that horse flies and deer flies hunt by sight. They are not, they don't go by infrared or go by smell. And that's the reason why they're not affected by the chemical repellents. They, they just, in fact, <laughs> I think they attract them. That's my, my opinion on it. So they hunt by sight, which means they can identify a dragonfly when they see it. They know it and they know enough to take off. So I guess the question is, is will this work? Will this actually look like a real dragonfly and repel the, the, the deer flies and the horse flies? Okay, so when I first got this, let me give you another couple of close-ups. Hopefully it'll focus in on it. When I first got this, I was very doubtful about it at all. I thought to start with, when have I ever seen a yellow dragonfly of that size? Well, it turns out there is a dragonfly native to Nova Scotia known as the meadow hawk, which looks very much like this. So it's about the same size, the same coloring, the same configuration. But at the same time, I thought, okay, this is plastic. How can it be effective at being a repellent for deer flies? Well, I'm going to share a quick story with you in a minute, but uh, what I want to do before I do that is put it back on my hat. And I'm going to go over some of the literature, very, just very quickly. I'm not going to uh, read it all out to you, but this is the packaging that it came with. So the Dragonfly Wingman, a little bit of instructions and how it works on the back. And then quite an enjoyable, well, educational, we'll say, pamphlet all about dragonflies and I found this quite interesting. Now I maybe what I'll do is I'll put this in the show notes. I'm certainly not going to read it out to you right now but uh, I, and of course where I got this or my daughter got this uh, I'll put in the show notes or the video description and maybe some alternatives for it. So let me tell you what else I've tried and why I, I'm ended up with this. So uh, there are some other ideas out there to begin with chemical repellents. I think I've mentioned this a few times. Uh, DEET will not repel them. Icaridin or picaridin will not repel them. Uh, I uh, have had no luck with any of the sprays whatsoever. Mosquito coils or the uh, thermocell doesn't seem to work and those are limited in their application because you pretty much have to be sitting still to, to allow that uh, fumes to be around you before for that to work. Um, I tried something else. First off, I tried duct tape. And this is apparently an old trick that's been known for a long time to the woodsmen in the deep woods is that if you take some duct tape and a strip of it will say 10 inches long and you roll the edges under so that the sticky side is exposed, put that on your hat, then the deer, or the, yes, the deer flies and the horse flies, which like to it, attack from behind will come down and land on it thinking it's your bare skin and get stuck to it. Uh, I tried. Nothing 
stuck to it. None of the deer flies, and I was surrounded by them when I did try that, and it just didn't seem to work. And I thought, okay, maybe it's the quality of the duct tape. And it was uh, uh, some good duct tape, so whether or not I needed to find something else, there is another product which kind of capitalizes on the duct tape, which is supposed to do an even better job. And I'll share this with you. Let me take it out of the package and my thoughts on it. So it's called a Deerfly Patch. Now both of these products, by the way, were bought at Lee Valley here in Canada. And of course I will give you the link for that. So the Deerfly Patch is basically a piece of double-sided, super sticky tape that you peel one side off, apply it to your hat, then peel the other side off so that the super sticky side is exposed. Uh, I tried this a couple of times. The <laughs> first time was an absolute disaster. I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I'll tell you what I did. So, should have read the instruction a little closer, and I would have known that when you peel off one, the, the backing on this, the, you have to make sure that it's the side that faces your hat. Because if you use the other side, the side that's supposed to be exposed, and you put that on your hat, which is what I did, I couldn't get it off. I mean, it, it was wicked. It was just absolutely, it was this hat, and I thought it was the hat was ruined for sure. I could get the tape off, but it left all the gooey glue on the hat, and I was sure the hat was ruined. Well, uh, I got it home, and I used a product called Goo Gone, you may be familiar with, and it did work to get it off, but then I had to wash the hat a few times to get the Goo Gone out of the hat, so I was able to get it off. I guess the lesson there is read the instructions if you want to try this out. The two times that I had it on my hat, nothing landed on it. At least if not anything landed on it, it uh, didn't get stuck and it might have flown away. And I'm not so sure that this is the answer to deer flies, even if it would be effective, in, because it's not a repellent. It's meant to trap them. So you're not actually repelling the deer flies, you're, you're hoping to catch them. Now, I guess if there's a limited amount of deer flies where you're at, then uh, maybe that'll help. You know, if there's two or three and both of them land, great. My experience is, though, there seems to be an unlimited amount of deer flies in the woods. The more I move through the woods, the more deer flies I encounter. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of faith in the deer fly patch. Now, maybe you do. Maybe you've got a different experience with this. If you do, let me know in the, in the comment section because uh, I'd be interested in knowing if anybody has good experience using either the deer fly patch or duct tape. All right, so back to the dragonfly wingman. Um, none of the other things that I tried work. Now, there is one product that I have not tried that uh, has been recommended to me, and that is permethrin. Now, permethrin is a very strong repellent that works e highly effectively on mosquitoes, black flies, ticks, you name it. You spray it onto your clothing, you let it dry in, and it will last for well, they say multiple washings, upwards of seven washings if, once applied to your clothing. I bought some about five years ago, and I've long since used it up. It's not that easy to get in Canada. If any of you in Canada know a good place that I can buy some permethrin, please let me know, because, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to have some more. I don't recall if it worked for deer flies. My, my thinking, if my memory is correct, is it wasn't so effective. Okay, so why did I wait so long before testing this? Well, usually when I'm out in the woods here in this part of the wilderness, I wear long pants and long sleeve shirts. Now, I do roll my sleeves up now and then. I just like the extra protection it affords me. Even on the hottest days, I will do that tick protection, uh, you know, brush, whatever. I, I like the protection it affords, which means I have a limited amount of exposed skin for the deer flies to attack. But they're usually around my head, going at the back of my neck, and they will bike through clothing as well, at my ears, and uh, yeah, so, I, it, I, you know, it's kind of limited. I've had the deer fly, or the dragonfly wingmen for two years, and two summers, I should say, this is the second summer, and I took it with me to Kushbaquack National Park in New Brunswick, where my wife Jean and I spend uh, two weeks camping every year. And while there, I, we like to go to the beach. They have some of the most beautiful beaches in, in this part of the world without any question. And that's where the dragonflies, or not the dragonflies, that's where the deer flies find me the most. Because of course you're wearing shorts or a bathing suit, you have a shirt on, maybe you don't and the deer flies are there, and they don't seem to be deterred by the sun, the heat, or the wind either. 
So uh, I tested this out to see if it was going to work there. And the answer is yes, it does. I can't qualify it as 100% effective because I don't know that there is anything that's 100% effective, but I can say that when we use this, now when I did that, I usually attached it to my beach chair so that it kind of hovered right here. Hovered isn't right, exactly the right word. It kind of just bounces around. But I am convinced now that it is effective at repelling deer flies. Your experience may differ, and again, I'd be interested in knowing, have you tried this? Has it been effective for you? In that setting at Kujibakwak and here in the woods, I can say that I believe it is effective at repelling deer flies. <laughs> now, I, I'm sure some of you are saying, come on, Mark, how can a little plastic dragonfly actually repel a deer fly? You know, it, that, that's a little bit of a stretch. Well, let me share this story with you, uh, because it's... It's quite convincing, at least it is to me. So this was on the arm of my beach chair doing one of these things at the beach and the native dragonflies there were flying around, scooping up mosquitoes, scooping up whatever else was out there. And it was kind of funny, there was a, and they're both the same size, they're black up there. Uh, this huge one went down the beach, passed us, stopped and came back and hovered right into me and was about three or four inches away from this one and just stared at it for 20 or 30 seconds before finally leaving. So what does that tell me? If it was realistic enough to at least temporarily fool another dragonfly, then I think it's realistic enough to deter the deer flies. As hard as that may be to believe, uh, that was my experience. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, so I'm not going to extend this video out any longer. I will say that I do believe this to be an effective deer fly, dragonfly repellent. Maybe not so much mosquitoes and black flies, but like I said, chemicals do work for those. And I'd be interested in knowing your experience if you've tried this. If you have any other ideas that may be effective, um, I'm not fond of wearing it, to be honest. It bounces around, it gets caught going through the woods, but I'll wear it if I'm sitting around or in a you know, relatively open area like right where I am right here. But if there, you know of anything else that may be effective against deer flies and horse flies, then put that in the comments section below. All right, as I mentioned before, I'll put in at least where I know that you can buy these. I believe they're available on Amazon and here in Canada at Lee Valley. I'll put that information in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.